Hello friends, in today's video, let's solve Geeks for Geeks problem of the day, which is error removals. So we are given an array of n integers and an integer k, and we need to find the minimum number of elements that should be removed such that the maximum, the difference between the maximum and the minimum element of my array is less than or equal to k. And after removal of elements, and yeah, the maximum and the minimum are considered among the remaining elements. Correct. So yeah, there is one space uh, note also, but yeah, let's first look at the brute force uh, or uh, not brute force, but uh, at some uh, one more. We will solve this problem using two approaches. Okay, so let's see it one by one. So first, I am taking second case where I am given n equal to five and k equal to two, and my array is one, two, five, right? One, sorry, one five six two eight. Okay, let me erase it down. Just a minute. It is a uh, yeah okay sorry for that so yeah so my array is 1 5 6 2 and 8 so this is my array and i need to find i need to find out the minimum number of elements minimum elements that i need to remove such that my maximum element minus minimum element in my array is less than or equal to k the difference between maximum and minimum element is less than or equal to k correct so assume uh, uh, consider this case okay now uh, how do you approach to solve this problem first so see first approach is that brute force means uh, you try to remove all of uh, uh, try to remove elements in pairs and single elements and like that but uh, it would have a lot um, uh, i would say because of n square or n cube complexity because you are removing each trying to remove each and every sub array or like that right so that is not optimal approach right one see one thing you need to first know is that uh, if i if you need to get the minimum and the maximum element right minimum and the maximum element you will need to sort this array right whatever might be the case you need to sort this array okay so let me first sort it down and then explain it to you the approach one two five six and eight correct now see either i can see first i will have two pointers i and j placed it here right now eight minus one is seven which is still greater than k correct so either i can remove the first element either i can remove the first element or i can remove the second element or, or the last element right so there are two possibilities right so here's here comes the approach of dp here comes i would say not dp actually but recursion right recursion recursion or i would say then we would go to memoization and yeah so this there there comes an approach of recursion right once i have sorted my array right once i have sorted my array i have two possibilities for i can remove either the first element or the last element right similarly is the case let's say i removed the last element assume like this right now my j pointer is like at this position still i am calculating 6 minus 1 is 5 that means still it is greater than 2 and now i can again remove the first element and again remove or remove the last element right so there are two possibilities and whenever there is a possibility you can go left or right again at this position you can go left right again in this position goes left and right right so here comes the approach that you could follow a recursion right recursive approach right so let me now show you the uh, easy and quick recursive code okay so yeah so uh, yeah i have memoized it uh, but assume that these are these things are not there okay as of now and okay so assume like this so assume that it is not memoized right let me try to submit it yeah so we will get time limit exceeded probably yeah so time limit is exceeded why see what i am doing first first thing first i need to sort the array right whatever might be the case i need to sort my array and then i am calling out my recursion function which is from zero for i pointer is at zero j pointer is at n minus one and i am passing array and key value right now if my i is greater than j then fine i i need to return zero because this case is does not exist right because and similarly if my array of j minus array of i is less than or equal to k then also i need to return zero see why let's look at this example again so i am considering now sorted error only right so if my let's let's say my i is at this position j is at this position right now i am calculating array of j minus array of i is what is it 6 minus 5 which is 1 and 1 is less than or equal to 2 right correct this is this satisfies the condition now this satisfies the condition that means i do not need to remove any of the elements i do not need to remove any of the elements right so then i would return a zero means i need to return zero elements uh, uh, i need to remove zero elements right because this is a valid sub array definitely this is a valid array uh, a sub array which is satisfying our criteria that the maximum element minus minimum element so, uh, difference should be less than or equal to k okay 
so uh, if my array minus j minus i is less than or equal to k then i did not need to remove any elements and if it is not the case then either i can remove the first element now if i remove the first element then i would have to increment my i pointer and other case is that i need to decrement my j pointer and finally i would return 1 plus minimum of both the operations right see 1 2 5 6 and 8 See, either I am removing this element or I am removing this element, right? Means That means that I am definitely removing one element. I am definitely removing one element and then I am calculating the answer for uh, the further case. So, now if I remove the first element, then I will calculate the minimum answer for this case. Uh, and if I remove the last element, then I would calculate the minimum answer for this case, this remaining subarray, right? And I would add it to my one because definitely I have to remove the element means what i mean to say that if array of array of j minus means c at this position array of j will always be the maximum right because i have sorted the array first first thing to note that i have sorted the array that means that array of j would be the maximum element right so if my maximum minus minimum is less than or equal to k then i do not need to remove anything and otherwise otherwise i need to remove at least one element i would have to remove one element right but i need to uh, for then find the minimum of both of the operations okay i am increasing either am i either am i removing the first element or am i removing the second element yeah so this is the dp kind of approach uh yeah and then i would see this is a recursive approach then i would memoize it okay so this was simple memoization code and yeah it is a complex time complexity is big o of n square and space complexity is also big o of n square because we are using a 2d dp correct so let me try to then submit it again Yeah, so it is passing all of the cases, right? So this is the recursive approach. Yeah, so this was the recursive, or I would say memoize approach or DP approach. Okay, and yeah, it, it is very easy to understand, right? You can take a pen and paper, and then you can uh, go, uh, try to get, take some sample cases, and then you will get it. Okay, so yeah, it would form a recursion tree-like structure, right? See, if you are at this position, I can remove the left or the right. And if I remove left, what I am left with this this number of elements. And if I remove the rightmost element, I am left with this most element. Again, I can remove left and right. Again, I can remove the maximum and the minimum. Right. So uh, whenever you have a tree like approach, you can use DP. Right. Okay. So when you have to select which need to remove, you can use DP. Now, see. See whatever what I, I told you that whatever might be the case, you need to sort the array. Right. Then only you can find out this answer why is it important to sort the array right otherwise let's say you have this unsorted array 1 5 6 2 and 8 how would you know that how would you know that what is the maximum and the minimum element right see whenever i am considering for this case right 1 5 6 and 2 1 assume that this is the sub array 1 5 6 and 2 i am not sure see if i even if i use two pointer approach i am not sure that i, I the position at i is minimum and position at j is maximum right because the maximum element is at 6 right so at each point in time I, have, I will have to then find the maximum element right that is not good right because if i need to find the maximum at each point in time it will take another big go of n time right so the it is better to sort it uh, it is better to sort the array okay now we are seeing the second approach uh, means we need to optimize this again and we need to solve it using n log and time complexity and without using any extra space how would you do that see one two five 6 and 8 so this is my second approach okay to solve this problem now assume that yeah see you will have to use two pointers right you will have to use two pointers definitely definitely two pointers are required now i am told that i need array of j minus array of i less than or equal to k correct now what if i could find a maximum window or i would say maximum sub array maximum sub array size such that such that maximum sub array such that a max minus a min is less than or equal to k i just need to find this right correct this is this is the answer mine maximum sub array size such that a max minus a min is less than or equal to k in my sorted error so this is my uh, reduced problem statement one two five six and eight right now i would i i would have two pointers i equal to zero and j equal to zero correct and my answer variable is also zero means i see my this answer variable holds one more uh, one important thing that is the maximum sub array size such that a max minus a min is less than or equal to k a max minus a min less than or equal to k okay i is at this position j is at this position first i am checking if my array of j minus i is less than or equal to k yeah i am i am sure that this is the case right so my then i would increment my j pointer 
again i am checking if my array of j minus array of i is less than or equal to okay correct yeah that is following the criteria let me move it forward so my j is at this position let me name the index is also 0 1 2 3 and 4 now my j is at this position right 5 now i am checking if array of j minus array of i is less than or equal to k or not see no now it is not the case see my k is 2 for this case okay for this example k is 2 so 5 minus 1 is 4 which is greater than k not less than or equal to k correct so what i would do i would increment then my i pointer but before that before that before that i would store in my answer i would store in my answer answer is equal to answer max of j minus i okay so before incrementing my i what i would do i would uh, store this my in my answer right so my j was at point position number 2 and my i is at position number 0 so that means 2 minus 0 is 2 so see this sub array this sub array follows my criteria follows the criteria 1 comma 2 follows the criteria and yeah it is of size 2 and yeah i was not seen any sub array with bigger size like right so this is my answer as of now this is my temporary answer right now i am sliding the window i am incrementing my i so now my i is at this position j is still at position number 5 okay now again i am checking if my 5 minus 2 array of j minus i is greater than or equal to k is equal to what as at this point it is equal to 3 which is greater than k right this is also not satisfying my criteria again i have to increment my i okay now 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 which is less than or equal to k correct i would increment my j pointer if the see it is very simple to understand right now i have incremented my j pointer j is at this position again i am checking 6 minus y is equal to 1 which is less than k then yeah then there is a scope that this is this can be my probable answer right this is the possible answer right hence i would uh, see hence i would update my answer answer is equal to maximum of j minus i maximum see 5 comma 6 is also an probable answer right 1 comma 2 was also a probable answer because both of are of size 2 and yeah this is the maximum size now again i am at now i have incremented my j again now 8 minus 5 is 3 8 minus 5 is 3 which is not less than or equal to k right which is means i mean i mean which is greater than k again i have to increment my i pointer i am at 6 comma 8 correct now 8 minus 6 is 2 yeah this is this satisfying the criteria so 6 comma 8 is also my probable answer correct so i have uh, so see now my j is j is less than and i will iterate till j is less than and now, now my j has exceeded right so that means i need to break out so that means that i have found three sub arrays three windows which have which are satisfying the criteria and what is the maximum size of all of them two so that means that what is my answer see i need to find the minimum number of elements which i can remove right so this is the maximum window size so whatever my whatever elements do i have minus the maximum answer so that means five elements i had and minus two which is three that means that i need to remove at least i need to remove three elements for minimum right minimum three elements i need to remove from my array such that the satis the condition is satisfied correct so yeah this is what this was the simple case you need two pointer approach and yeah it is since we are using since we are sorting the array it would take big of n log n complexity time complexity would be big of n log n and yeah we are using no extra space space complexity is big of one so we are we have solved the optimized approach also now let me yeah, show you that that code so this is very simple code see sliding window codes are very simple just you need to take care of how would you iterate the pointers okay nothing else so i am taking two pointers i equal to zero j equal to zero answer is zero and i am iterating till my j is less than n i am checking if my array of j minus array of i is less than or equal to k then i am incrementing my j and else if I am checking that i is less than j and if this is the not the case then I am incrementing my i and towards the end I am uh, calculating my answer answer equal to max of j minus i and finally returning my n minus answer okay so I would paste the code, code in the description yeah see but I, I have found one interesting statistics that most of the people do not subscribe to the channel yeah so please subscribe to the channel and like the content and do not forget if you have any doubts comment it down i would try to explain it again i would paste the code in the description do not worry thanks for watching